stone brain question mark what's going on huh i don't know <laughs> lightning strike <laughs> stone brain hit lightning strike all right pog all right all right okay here we go you're a rask win us the game oh god how am i to do this what i can't even see my shit ah. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video and in this video we're doing something a little bit spicy because we're playing Eurobrask Storm and shout out to Nathan in the Twitch chat that gave me this deck. Nathan cooked this up. I made a few changes to it to make it like play a little bit better because initially this deck was playing Case of the Ransacked Lab from Murders at Carl of Manor but didn't really feel like it was doing a whole lot so I took that out and replaced a few things and the deck honestly feels pretty good right now but more than that at the end of this deck deck <laughs> anyways this deck um revolves around your brask a four mana four four creature with first strike and whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell your brask deals one damage to target opponent and you add one red mana and then you can also exile your brask for one red and return it to the battlefield transformed under its owner's control and activate only as a sorcery and only if you've cast three or more instants and or sorcery spells this turn this card is basically like the win con of this deck because the third chapter of the saga says, until the end of turn, you may cast instant and sorcery spells from any graveyard. If a spell cast this way, it would be put into a graveyard, exiled instead, exiled a great work, then return it to the battlefield. So what you're trying to do with this is you're trying to flip the Eurobrask. Then hopefully at that point, after you get the three treasure tokens on the, the second chapter and you have a bunch of lands in play, you should be able to cast so many like cheap instants and sorcery. And once again, like keep pinging with your brass, keep generating one red mana, basically just play a bunch of spells to the point that you kind of like storm off and um, win the game by by literally one damage pings and whatever else. So this deck has a lot of super cheap interaction in there and a very great payoff for cheap cards, cheap spells and instant sorceries is Hearth Elemental because this spell costs X less to cast where X is the number of cards in your graveyard that are instant cards, sorcery cards and or have an adventure. And the Earth Elemental, most often in this deck, will be a 1 mana 4 5, which is pretty good. It also has a really nice adventure side to it, Stroke Genius, that allows you to discard your hand and draw two cards for two mana. And that's pretty neat too, because if you have no cards in hand and you do the discard and draw two cards, you'll draw two fresh cards and you don't really have to discard anything. On top of that, once again, the red spells in this deck, and there's many of them, work really nicely with Eurobrask, because Eurobrask generates that red mana, so you can just keep going and like keep storming off. Another crucial like part here is that you kind of want to get some discounts. They can be really relevant, especially because this deck is playing cards like Reckless Impulse, who costs two mana, Rent's Resolve costs two mana. We got some Lightning Strikes. We got the Heroes Warcrafting, and giving those like a little bit of a discount helps you with storming off better. And no better card to do that than with the Haughty Jin, because the Jin makes instant and sorcery spells cost one less to cast. And also the Jinn is obviously a pretty huge win con in this deck too because the power of the Jinn is equal to the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard. So this guy also grows uh, pretty pretty thick. So I also have some Ledger Shredders in here. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, it connives, which will help me like look for your Brask. Because this deck has a lot of card draw to make sure that you you find either your like win con conditions in the form of Jinn and Hearth Elemental that also benefit from having a lot of instants and sorceries but finding that your brask is also like pretty key to what the deck wants to do and also we want to hit our land drops because this is a really low land count deck and i think that's okay because we are playing four considers we are playing for four other worldly gazes and we're playing three sight of hands on top of that like i said earlier we're playing four reckless impulses and three rents resolve so there's a lot of card draw in here so we will definitely hit our land drops and hopefully get to our win conditions and grow our cards and make things cheaper you know this deck worked for me <laughs> like i i wasn't expecting it i think honestly my draws with this deck were pretty incredible i don't think that experience will be might be the same for you it might it might go great it might not i cannot guarantee that i don't think you should spend a lot of wild cards crafting this but if you once again like the idea and you you wouldn't mind and you just want to play this stuff go for it but yeah i i think i had above average draws with this so just keep that in mind if you're considering crafting this but it was a ton of fun to play anyways 
big shout out to Nathan for allowing me to play with your brew. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe before we get into it. It really helps the channel out and, um, you know, you don't want to miss out on any of my brews, especially when Thunder Junction is right around the corner. So let's get into it, guys. Is that your rest storm? Let's go. This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. Two pain lands, so that's, that's GG's. <laughs> Shit, dude. Okay. Is that misery? Hmm. I do this. Probably red, I guess. Okay. We're going to have to remove that immediately. Jin could save us. I gotta take it now. Who needs lands? Like, we, mold, we go to like 18 immediately, we're good. It's a shame, but I couldn't have done anything there anyway. All right, Jin. Save us, I guess, somehow. Might put a stop here. Jin for true life, yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> immediately, immediately it's uh it's it's recruiter. Okay. Guys, these pain lands, this, this is just if we want this to work, we need to fix these lands, seriously. Yeah, Jin's given us lightning bolts, which is cute, but like, oh my god, the isn't lands are horrible. In two weeks? I mean, at least you won't die to your own lands in two weeks, so you got that going for you. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, pheasants are usually is that is that for sure suffers like the worst the worst mana base in standard for sure. I don't know, like could I ever win like this? I really have no idea. You know what? Like, that's something, at least. <laughs> like, that's something. Yay, Pog. That was probably the best thing we could have drawn. Maybe we're in this? That's kind of huge. All right. Looking at lethal next turn, probably. We got to, like, get a little bit fortunate with this other rolly gaze, but... All right. Are you take him? 18 lands, baby. Let's go. Oh my god, they just give up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, it's not. This is like, this is why Spotify is annoying to have up, by the way. The second you like 
don't click out of the window correctly if you minimize the spotify window obs won't register it unless you have like a third monitor up with the thingy like dedicated to it it sucks <laughs> it sucks i have the habit of like just minimizing my windows nah i don't think this is keepable i guess we gotta keep you know the real one you're a brask it's unfortunate I could try considering here to for land. Okay. Sharp eyed rookie. It's gotta be Golgari, I guess. Golgari, uh, just mid. I mean, of course it's Golgari, but it's mid. I don't know if I'm feeling reckless impulse because I'm casting Jin next turn almost always, I think. Unless I really want to Warcraft, but then I'm casting Warcrafting. This is why I hate like impulse cards, by the way. This is why I'm a true hater of impulse cards, because it's like. Sure, alright. We'll take the land. It really is an AZ land day today, I think. Mm. Prowess with Otter and Belmore. I think that deck is gonna get so upgraded with um I think that deck is gonna get so incredibly upgraded with OTJ. It's crazy. Um Yeah. Hmm. It's gonna get crazy. Yo, David, what's up? Princess of Digital Cardboard. Oh, yo, I take that. Um, is this where we play Europe? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not yet. Summon Impulse. No, I'm not attacking. I want to like grow this gin first, right? Mm. Like these play with fires are going to be really nice with your brask. At least. Gugari with four mana open can be a kill spell. Yeah, surely not, right? Play demand answers every impulse. I think that wouldn't be a bad choice. I'm actually okay with keeping this probably. Okay. So I guess we're in pop off range soon. I mean, there's not really any payoff for casting multiple spells outside of or like storming, I guess, outside of the case of the Rensec lab, but. Um, I guess I'm just going to like go in for the win, right? Holy shit, it's a Phyrexian Obliterator. Ayo, scary sight. Wonder why they didn't play it first though, but okay. I'll keep that on top. Okay, I think we're popping off now. I think. Okay, so what do we do here? We slam Eurobrask. Oh, holy shit, it tried to like, no, no pain lands. Ah, I guess it's fine either way. You're a brask. All right, let's do this. Play with fire. I think we're doing a thing. Uh, I guess? No, I wouldn't have... Well... I guess? I don't know. I think we just win here, though. I guess we just win. I mean, we already have it. Start your hand, draw two cards. There we go. 
you know that's probably like the best things could ever go for us <laughs> that is probably the best it could ever get so we take it now what we're up against obliterator in the colors red and blue scary shit but we can see we can see Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if there's enough things to counter with Disdainful Stroke and Golgari. I mean, like, we know that they're an Obliterator deck, but the only things that I can really think of is, I guess, Obliterator and Shelly, but... I don't know if that makes it good enough. Yeah, I will keep the Pierces in. I think I'll just go about it like this. Yeah, you could still, like, Tidebind Glissa. Like, why does it have to be a Restless Spire, dude? I got a mole. Alright, that's fine. I feel like we need to give Eurobrass because Eurobrass is like the star of the show, but it's also like this hand is not very friendly. I need to keep the frenzies too. I might have to be Eurobrass. Feels wrong, but what else am I doing? You're affected by the same mana curse as you. How to get rid of it? Play 18 lands is what I'm doing right now. Seriously. If MTG Arena is screwing you over with lands, just try it. It's like, it saved me all day long. I'm playing 18 lands here. Like, if at, at that point you're killed at the lands anyways, just try it. Like, take out lands and add some spells. Play 18. See if it works. Like, for me, it saves me every time. I just, I don't know why, but it just works. It just really just just works. I don't know if I'm ever solving this case. This is uh, an experience. So this is where I slam case, probably. 18 lands, draw no lands. Play 24 lands, have three times full mana hands after mulligans. I don't know then. 22? <laughs> you try 22? I don't know. Case seems bad. Yeah, this doesn't seem incredible. Hold on, I'll try 22. We'll get back to you. All right. Good luck, gamer. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. All right. Let's get this party started. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, um, which one do we like better? Rent's Resolve. All right, well, at least I'm getting my, uh, my gin back, so how'd that going for me? Could I have actually flipped this? No, it's instant. Like, you know, okay, anyway, I move. <laughs> I just... I gotta move. I gotta choose peas. At least I got impulses. Yippee. Does that the opponent have to sign a damage many leave for to one each for it? I think Arena does it, but to be sure, you can always go into settings, go to gameplay, and auto assign cool med damage. Make sure that's ticked off to make sure that like Arena doesn't screw you over. Better be safe than sorry when it comes to MTG Arena, unfortunately. All right, I guess I'm removing this. Mm -mm. Got another bat. Yeah. Okay, so Glissa is going to try to hunt down his case. I don't vibe with that too much. Well, 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 if it isn't Eurobrask. Yo, I think we gotta try. I think we gotta try. A flipped Eurobrask would actually be really nice against the Glissas.
But um, yeah, get your rest to live. That's the question. This deck is a little vulnerable. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Okay. The deck's vulnerable, but so are we emotionally. I'm still looking at some of the replies to the the IV stuff. So far, we're just having more judge like we're having more judges being called and more things uh more people saying bug. <laughs> so the answer has not been found yet. All right, well, that was a devastating turn. Rip your brass. You would have loved to remove this Glissa. Oof. All right. Glissa's a good card. Who would have ever thought? Not me. Uh, I want my gin back. But I need to, I need to respect Glissa, right? Like, I gotta. Ooh, lightning strike? Okay, I guess I get gin back. Come. Okay. Pretty sure I have to, like, play it out immediately. I could have read the card, but also it's got time for that. Sentinel! All right. There's some pressure. Oh, that's Shelly. Ooh, that's Shelly. Uh, impulse. This is probably where I play this to block as well. I think. Then again, we get Euro Rask soon, so it's like, do I take just take the four? This Euro Rask could go crazy, could go stupid. Mm. I I think I'm playing it out for pressure. We could just win next turn with like full met damage and stuff too. And I kind of can block the Sentinel with the Elemental, so I gotta try. Have we posted Molten Duplication here yet? Uh, no. Paints a sacrifice of the beginning of the end. Create a copy of target artifact or creature control, except it's an artifact in addition to other types. Paints haste into on a turn. What could we do with that? Something with haste? Haste haughty gins? Interesting for like spell stuff. Vein Ripper. <laughs> In a sacrifice deck, actually, though, like, could be Vein Ripper and Sacrifice. Hold up, gas, gas. Could work. I could see it. We do be ripping some veins. Hell yeah. Braids. Kind of works really nicely with raids. That's true. It could also just be like it could just be a great card for a reckless sacrifice. Uh, bestie, no. Why do you keep removing my shit? I'm offended. <sighs> like, what am I gonna do with this red mana now, though? Cry, I guess. Flip your brass? No, you can't even do that. Um, it could be looking better here. I don't know what we need to win. I don't think this deck is capable of doing 19 damage with Eurobrask. I think maybe you needed a a way to like double the damage that it does. Maybe this deck needs like O'Hare's. O'Hare turn the pings into four damage. We busy gaming! Yo, thank you for the prime. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. 
working towards the sub goal 12 hours of early excess oh, or at wells of thunder junction 12 hours long brews good vibes subscribe for free with prime support the channel make the sub goal happen yeah but what's a flip gonna do hopefully remove shelly <laughs> Mm. Here we go. Yeah, early access is back. All right, well, well, well. So that at least removes Shelly. Um. Mm, 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 This is all a little bit awkward. Why, 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 why? Because I can consider and grab Frenzy, but I can't cast Frenzy because now I have to play blue, pay blue. <laughs> Damn. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. mm mm Yeah, but what's Eurobrask Flip gonna do for me? Do I not just want Eurobrask in play? Because that at least allows me to get faster to kill my opponent. <laughs> like... Uh, if I flip Eurobrask right now, they're just gonna, like, pump up Sentinel and also swing at me with Underdog and... You know. Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it and let's lose. <laughs> let's do it then, chat. Let's fuck around and find out. Let's make this happen. Let's do it. Everybody wants to flip your brask. I'll see it, show you that it will result in a loss. That's okay. Unless the opponent's really stupid, by the way. If they're really dumb, really dumb. If they just swing at us with a like an underdog, we won't survive the pressure, I don't think, but all right. Oh my god. They would just much rather play a Phyrexian Obliterator. You know, a good thing at least is that we can sacrifice the treasures. So that wasn't very heads up of the opponent, I guess. Um, this might actually work out now. We just have to lose our treasures, kind of. I cannot attack. I can't attack. Like if I'm attacking, I'm no. Like obviously they will kill me on the way back. We can. We cannot attack. If they, if I attack and have my Hearth Elemental tap, they will like try to buff up Sentinel, put it to five. I'm screwed. I could play with Fire and Underdog, but you know we we can't attack here. We just have to rely on the fact that they're gonna attack us. It's kind of the only thing we can do, and we're gonna lose the Hearth Elemental here. God, we're so lucky with them like whiffing on these Explore triggers. We really are. We're very fortunate. I mean, the opponent is just trying to have fun with, like, Obliterator, so I don't blame him. Like, if I'm playing an Obliterator deck and I have an opportunity to win the game or play Obliterator, I'm playing Obliterator. Like, <laughs> I don't blame him for real. I really don't. I don't blame them. Yeah, it's a swing with both. We're gonna have to... Frenzy the Obliterator. Okay, then. So 
so uh how are we planning on winning this game that's the question now because we're gonna have to sacrifice permanence here um can you do 13 in a single turn when it flips i don't know i hope so so i'm just trying to figure out like how do we get there um like let's have a look at what our cards might be in the top for us and then really gaze and a land i think we definitely need to keep a land on top for sure red land i can't how many spells do I need? I need to cast a lot of spells, man, to make this happen. And I could. Now, nah, land on top is definitely the right, the right move. I'm thinking like, yeah, I, I think we, I think we have to sacrifice the elemental. That's where I'm on. So, I think it's like sacrifice, sacrifice, sacrifice. Um, you need 10 spells less for damaging because the flip plus three. True. And I'm also going to throw a play with fire to the face. So... I mean, Reef is at least the coolers that I need, right? So I think we're doing this. Um, and then we'll throw the play with fire into the face. Like, all the burn spells are really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might get out of this. Only because they did not apply any pressure to us, but like they just have, they've just ignored the, the underdogs. <laughs> like, thanks, I guess. We'll take it. Uh, what? I don't know. stone brain called lightning strike <laughs> i don't know stone brain question mark what's going on maybe they go for gaze Why board that in? I don't know. <laughs> lightning strike! <laughs> Stone brain hit lightning strike. All right, Pog. Well, Stone brain doesn't go after... Yeah, it does go after the graveyard, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Stone brain, dude. Lightning strike. Okay, here we go. You're a rask. Win us the game. Oh god, how am I to do this? What? I can't even see my shit. Ah. Okay, I can't even see my shit. Um, wait, I had a... Did I not? Okay, I'll grab the land here. Where the fuck is this? Okay. Get the camera? Alright, now we got red available. Uh, do I just... I might as well start by with, play with fire here. <laughs> play with fire. So we should already have it here. So we can do like, I don't know, like Rent's Resolve or some shit. And then we can flip Eurobrask for three damage. And then we're clean. I mean, we could keep going. Just trying to figure out like, how do we, is there a way to like BM them? But yeah, you could flip Eurobrask and deal three damage. You know, shout out the opponent for not putting any pressure on us with underdogs. <laughs> it worked out. Might just get rid of the Shivan Reef out of hate. What about Telerian Terror? Mm, it could work, but like, what do you cut? 
the more like creatures you play, the less you give up on like storming off with your your rask. So I like Delirium Terror. So far, like the deck is winning though, so like we don't have to change something. If anything, I would start by adding the fourth gin over like a Telerian Terror, probably. Like the gins seem to really do a lot of work for us. But yeah, like the cases don't really seem like they fit, so I would be okay with kicking the cases, adding into the fire, and at least adding the fourth gin. So we could do that. Okay. We can we can make those changes at least. Terra and beans cut your rask. <laughs> make teamer uh teamer spells. Teamer beans, I guess. I do think that the deck has enough like card draw to go down to like three Euro Brasks for sure. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to like legendaries and the deck revolves around it, you do need to hit four offs, right? You want to increase your chances as much as you can to like find the card your deck revolves around. But because we have so much card draw, I think three copies is okay. So we could do that. My God, it's a bunny corn. Um, I mean, this seems like a premium Brotherhood's End, I guess. I mean, impulsing can guarantee your land drops. Like, I don't hate, I don't mind spending the mana like that. Um, if we didn't hit the impulse now, we wouldn't have drawn the Brotherhood's End, right? So it's like, there's there's benefits to doing it. Greedier with Jin first. Jin's a finisher. Like, we we don't have to give him an opportunity. If you play Jin before dealing with the board, you give them an opportunity to hit you with Case. So. That's like kind of their only removal. I think some of them play Get Lost, but they always play Case, so they would have to play like a Gleeful Demolition. I mean, I guess they can do that now anyways, but I'm okay with like denying them as much value as we can and also not giving them an opportunity to like destroy our win con, so. Would something Impulse or Moment of Truth work instead of some of the Impulse draw? I mean, the Impulses are good with the Eurobrass is kind of the thing. So like now I feel like this is a safe opportunity to play Jin. They don't have any creatures on the board, so they'd have to hit us with Get Lost. And they should play like three or four cases, so at least our odds are better here. I don't know, that's just my two cents though, like... That's just my two cents. I'm down to like look for a land. Mm. I guess I'll gaze. Gives me a higher chance of finding a land. Mm, sure. All right, we have him dead next turn. Let's go. Unless they find a way to deal with the Jin, but we've done a good job at like keeping the board small, so hopefully not. All right, well, shit. <laughs> Lithmetic Barrage. Not really where we want to be at, but we move. We get Eurobrask. Classic. Nah, it's true. It's true. Classic. Eurobrask at least got first strike, so that's pretty nice. All right, you take it, you take it. Whoa, that's an army of hearth elementals. One's fine, I think. I feel like you kind of got to keep your brass because like that's the star of the show. Then again, elementals are also good though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's about like six red shellies in magic now. <laughs> it's late. 
All right, yeah, I'm immediately removing Warden. That's like one of the things. If you struggle against Boros Convoke, one of the tips that or like pieces of advice that I can give you, if you have an opportunity, remove the ward to remove the warden, remove the warden always. That thing is so cracked. It adds so much consistency to that whole deck. It's insane. If you can do it. I think I'm too late. Stupid Magic the Other Arena. Hello. How how is this not fixed yet? Like, be real. I, my opponent is fucking putting their second creature in play and I'm too late putting a stop on my upkeep. Oh, okay, I guess. Triggered. Like, why is it that way? It's just such a shit program sometimes. Anyway, I found a land, so I didn't really get punished for it, but geez. Doesn't feel good. All right, my friends, let's find this end of festivities. No. I mean, the land's good. No. No. I mean, I, I don't believe enough to the point that I'm thinking that, uh... Okay, sure. Ugh, this still needs enough. That's not enough in a grave, is there? Shit. Mm, I fear I have to remove the evangelist. I should have probably waited with that though. I would have gotten one less bet, but if we lose by one point of damage, then or I guess more eventually. I just gotta hit the festivities here somehow. Somehow, some way. Or Brotherhood's End. Literally anything. I'm gonna put the stop here. I'm gonna dig aggressively for festivities now. Ren Snow. Land. Gaze. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Nor nor a little flooded actually i wonder if this is where i like discard the whole hand because i don't think i win if i don't find a board wipe here i guess i will nah i think you just discard like if i block with the hearth elemental they're still just gonna swing with everything i think we need to find a board wipe oh my god there it is Oh my god! I hope it's not too late, though. Bruh. <laughs> uh, wee woo! Okay, how much is this even? Four, six, seven, eight? Oh my god, go to two? I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried. Oh no! Two life. Who needs more than that anyway? Not me, guys. All right, here it goes. End the festivities. Yippee. All right, I could summon Impulse still if I want to. God, I'm at two life. That's just... I don't know. I'm worried. Festivities were ended. The festivities were ended, it is true. Thank you so much, monkeys. 29. Okay. Spire. Well, if this is another resolute reinforcements, we're dead. Basically. I like, we're dead to so many things, dude. <laughs> I'm worried as hell. I don't know how we're winning this. Like, that's the thing. I don't know how we're winning this. We gotta come up with it, something really quick. I don't know. Uh, well, I have Frenzy to deal with the bunny. This would help me find something, though. Mm, 
Okay, well, one thing that we definitely have to do is, like, we can't just sit, fuck around and find out. Um, so I'm thinking we just swing with the elemental and then we'll hold back Restless Fire as a blocker, I guess. Can we do that? It's three. This is going to be three to cast, so... Okay, that works. Ledger Shredder is a good card. Like, I think the Talarian Terrors could also be good. Ledger Shredder might actually be better in this deck, though, than uh, Talarian Terrors. I actually could like that idea better. All right, we're going to hit the bunny. Bolt the bunny. <laughs> I wish. Okay, before it rotates, rip. Or attack with the spire for the scry. I think I like the four power better. I think it, I think a faster cloak over like scrying works more for us. Nah, I don't think so. I think we want pressure here. I could, we're technically doing like double the damage going with Hearth Elemental, so I like that better. Like I could have Elemental and Spire attack next turn for six, half their life total, win the turn after. Like this is a faster cloak, which is I think what we're looking for. I don't think we want to give our opponent more time to find a way out of it. Seems like the worst thing that we could do. Even though, like, yeah, I want to draw the right cards, but we're also playing an 18 land deck here, so we have, like, an 80% chance of hitting non-lands. <laughs> so I'm taking those chances. Like, it's not as if I'm sitting on a 50% chance to hit a land or something. And the scries are, like, super important. Okay. Just gonna swing in with the elemental again, I guess. I don't think... I don't feel confident about the rest of Spire. This actually is very suspicious, though, because there was a pause. There's a pause right now on the opponent's side of the board. Then again, am I ever in a position where I can play around Resolute Reinforcements? I don't know. Part of me is like... I don't, I don't think I attack here. I think it's resolute. I think we got to defend. I don't think we can do this. I got to come up with something else. All right. That makes me feel a little bit better about things at least. As long as I can at least hold up like two blockers, I'm okay. Mm. Okay, we're just gonna go about like this. So we have lethal on the board for next turn and two pieces of removal, so blockers are not gonna do the trick for them either. Yeah, slow lands and triumphs, like, it's gonna hurt, but we're still okay. And eventually, like, they'll print more lands anyways. I'm sure, like, Bloom Barrel will have, like, correct lands one way or another, too, you know? I'm sure Bloom Barrel will, like, deliver, too. You wish Hearth Elements could be a 10 off? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be sick. <laughs> All right, then. Restless Spire. Oh, yeah, this fucking thing doesn't even have first strike. <laughs> Why is it so bad, dude? Why does it suck so much? Oh, Lord. Every time you think Restless Spire could possibly not get any worse, it doesn't have first strike upon defending. It's just a nightmare. So bad. Anyways. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's one damage to each opponent as well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, God draw? Hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh shit. <laughs> hey yo! This deck is whitelisted or something. I don't know. We'll take it. Easy money. Yeah. This is whitelisted. I don't know. We've actually been winning. No, it's true. <laughs> We've actually been winning, which is pretty, ne pretty neat, you know? All right, I guess I'll hit him with the sleight of hand. I'll grab a Warcraft thing. All right. Apparently sleight of hand was too much for them to handle. Okay, well. I love these like 18 lead opening hands. Like I'm just chilling hard. We'll do Island. Pretty sure we're just gonna get hit by the bat though. Most likely. No? No bats? No batsies? I already got one. Um, I guess I'll cast Sight of Hand, hold up Spell Pierce. I don't know if Spell Pierce is going to do anything for me necessarily, but I guess I'll grab the Consider. Okay. Is 18 the truth? 18, 18 Lance is always the truth. Like... MTG Arena's cheat code. Yo, I'll take Ledger. All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Just replying. Uh. Okay. Sure. Juari Disruption Reprint. Okay. Can't stop that, I fear. I could slam a Eurobrask, but it's like... I guess I could. I mean, I have a backup, so that makes me feel a bit safer anyway. I got a backup. They're going to definitely remove this, though. Definitely. Holy fucking shit, that's not good. At least they couldn't. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is getting crazy. All right, well, shit. Then again, Eurobrask eating a board wipe, I'm not mad at that. They're going to be mad. No, it's true. They're going to be really upset. <sighs> All right. Damn, dude. At this point, like... Not a Eurobrask. At least cover up such a nasty card. No, it's, it really is true. It is very nasty. This is one of those spots where it's like, am I ever going to get another piece of like spell pierce value? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Oops, all my Eurobrask has gone. Well, that's really it, guys. <laughs> all four are out of the deck. Now to find a way to win. I mean, we guess we still have Jins and Ledger Shredders and whatever else, so. Well, well, speak of the devil. More like an angel. Here's the Jin. Don't. You've done enough harm. Stop it. <laughs> You've harmed us enough. You've killed all our your rest forges or your rasks. I mean, not the forges. This deck might even need your rest forge in a sideboard. Speaking of, but um, you know. Shh. 
shit, dude. Not the deadly cover up right now. I, we're just getting stormed. They're just... We don't play enough creatures and they're just exiling everything, dude. They're gonna exile all the gins out of the deck and we don't have a wing call left. Hearth elementals. I'm just gonna concede this. I don't see a way out. We're gonna we're gonna just try again. This time around with a bunch of counter spells, so. I mean, that's just like really unfortunate, you know. It is. Um is very unfortunate. You can play like this though. Yeah, it's not horrible. Could have maybe. Happy Earth Day, is it actually? Is it actually Earth Day? Are we getting baited? It's gonna have to cast some spells. <laughs> Well, yes, it's, it's actually, I will say. We're slamming some resolves, we're drawing some lands, we're living our best life. Hey, hello, Jin, Pog. Oh, I have to discard? I don't like that. All right, maybe I'll just slam play with fire to the face. You bought your work made that up. So it's not true? Damn, not Earth Day. You got baited. When is Earth Day then? <laughs> All right, sure. Oh, damn, you really got tricked. Sure. Bamboozled. Okay. Can I pass my silly little turn? I don't feel like that card is particularly safe right now. I try it though. I do have stroke up still. Am I crazy or is this card busted? All right, let's see. Cheapest that we've ever seen. This is a one-time effect. Reuse ATP or getting some more damage. Oh yeah. Um, I have no idea. It feels like it could absolutely be like broken. You just gotta like figure out what to do with it. It might do some like degenerate stuff in like other formats. I think. In standard, what you can do is like copy vein rippers, like copy. Not sure. Terror, Terror of the Peaks, yeah, like blood letters, like that type of stuff. Mm, maybe I'll hit him with an impulse. See if I can hit a land or something. A hey, pretty gas. We got one mana hearth elementals now, Pog. Scam decks. Could be. Thunder Junction's about to be the new Eldraine. We get it for three years. Yeah, we're so blessed. <laughs> I don't know. I think Thunder Junction's, the archetypes look really fun and good. Um, the cards look really fun and good. So I'm pretty excited. Okay. Mm. Sure. Well. Another resolve. I mean, at that point, at this point, I'm also like not sure what else am I looking for. Like, strike their face, get some value, maybe. Okay. Mm. 
shredder plus elemental maybe um Probably just the land, I guess. Okay. Pass my turn. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now, what's Bessie going to do? Definitely, like, counter something, I guess. Or, like, try to remove something. Like, the second I played it out, I can't counter. Shit. Mm. And I could still, like, just defend with Restless Reef. I'm in a really tough spot right now. Just, we just gotta be brave, man. We just gotta be brave. Chip damage and festivities. Like, if I do this, then I'm just opening myself up to get hit by this painful stroke. Like, that can't be right. I could summon another Rents Resolve, I guess, but I'd rather do that with Forge in play or your breast can play. Oh, I gotta pass a turn. It's rough. Okay. Phoenix is Phoenix. <laughs> My favorite archetype. Pierce. Feels like they have so much mana up, but that's not going to do anything for me. Yeah, I was considering that. I think at this point, like, we're probably going to get, like, board wiped and, uh... Nope, still have go for throats. Ah, shit. I mean, triple go for the throat and, like, one long goodbye is just so unfortunate. But then again, like, the Demir control deck only, like, plays spot removal anyway. So it's like, it really is just... How does it get better? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, then. I could actually bounce it still, I guess. Here we go. So, I play Hero Brask. I can bounce Eclazots. I mean, they create a bet, which sucks, but the trenches are so deep. I like. I don't know how we win this instead of like flipping Hero Brask at some point. And then I hope they don't remove it. Maybe I let like I don't I don't know. Maybe I let it go through for that reason, and hold up to the gate. We just try to win. Rent resolve like chain this for us challenge. Mm. Right, we gotta try. 
Uh, I think we're screwed. They just had too much stuff. I don't know. No, no, and no. Okay, how do we get out of this? Try again with a Eurobrask. We still have some left. Eurobrask! <laughs> Bestie! Alright, we have to try this, guys. Oh my god, it's Eurobrask. We're saved? Question mark? Uh, so how could I go best go about this? I guess we start off with Otherworldly Gaze. Uh, this is whenever you cast, like, what is it? Oh, shit, no. Um, three or more instants and sorceries? Okay. So I guess not the Jin, even though I'm gonna love Jin. This could work, this could work. Wait, could it work? I don't know. Did I play land for turn? Oh shit. Man, they're such haters. Like, you are a hater. I'll play to grab an island. Odds of finding land. So we have an 18% chance of hitting land. So surely. Uh... Okay, so how many have we cast now? <laughs> what are we on? What's our count? I think impulse flips. All right. Pog. A chance. <laughs> A chance. We could also swing with Shredder. Ayo, hey, now hold on now. Ayo. Hey, <laughs> Ayo, hey, Ayo. Hey, I mean, I don't want to give us false hope or anything, but... Uh... Okay. Sure. Mm. You draw a card. Well, we've been we've been gaming with a Eurobrask, to be honest. Oh fuck, that's a hearse, but I wonder if it's gonna be able to do enough. Hopefully not. Mmm. Elemental, I guess. Guys, we're just milling ourselves though. <laughs> like, we're milling ourselves, I fear. Um, kind of. We are. At least there should be enough spells in there for uh, Eurobrask at the end of the day. Your Eurobrask should have some food. Okay. Are you just gonna like? Please don't mill me. Could I get milled? I don't know. I'm just countering that though. While I still can. I got 13 cards. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna let that go through, of course. Like, I could still swing with Jin. Did 
They grabbed both lightning strikes. Yeah, like, I don't even know how we're going to, like, navigate this. <laughs> My rope's at three, so at least we should have a timer to help us figure this out. At least. Two play with fires. Okay. Should still be some stuff in there, I think. I hope. No. They grabbed all our burn spells. Okay. Slay. You still have a 15-4 gin against you, though. How about you can solve that one? All right. They figured a way to solve it, I guess. We're out 13 cards left in the deck. Three lands. They just hit more stuff in the grave now. Lord. I don't know. We need to what we need to cast like six spells. Yo, you I, how are they like perfectly like tacked against us though? That's fucked up. Like that's really fucked up. Everybody hated that. Sniped. <laughs> Sniped. Okay, then. Uh, we get this party started, I guess. Uh, consider. Start off with blue. Yep, I guess we'll grab whatever. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, that's all I can say. Holy shit. That's it. Holy shit. Do we want, like, Brotherhood's End to try and target the artifacts? I'm like, I'm like, I'm honestly considering it. To try to hit the horses, because like, they kind of mess us up. Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> We're aggressively trying to ball right now. Alright, we'll give ourselves access to a brother's end. At this rate, we're drawing so many cards, we will probably hit it. Alright, mole. Keepable. I'll get rid of a resolve, probably. Yeah, I'm shocked too. Like, I don't know what's going on, but I'm living. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I'm living. White, white listed, um, white listed forge or white listed Eurask storm keeps going. So I'm hi I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Is that best course confirmed? Real. Nine out of ten people will tell you it's a lie. But the one out of ten in the in the chat believes. The one out of ten were in the Edge Lizzle stream. Uh I guess I'll try to guess Shredder. Iconoclast, yeah. There's a lot of things that you could add in this deck for sure. There's a lot. Because it hasn't been good since Goldspan. Well, Goldspan was also very degenerate, so that's okay. <laughs> Goldspan Dragon was a nightmare. Mm, I guess it could work by me if I play a Jin out here. I kind of don't fuck with that too much. Consider, see if we can grow to Shredder a bit. Uh, I'll get rid of one Eurask, I guess. Then again, putting a Eurask in a graveyard is kind of dangerous. Um, I'm just going to try it, though. I mean, they, they cannot, like, collect evidence anytime soon yet, so. Okay. We get rid of land. Hell no. We're an 18 land deck. Like, if the, if the Shuffler offers us four lands, we take... <laughs> If we get offered lands, we take those. I mean, absolutely not going to say no to that. Mm. Cast other worldly gaze. Oh shit, the Hearth Elemental. Then again, it's that Hearth Elemental is too expensive right now, anyway. So I want to like grow to Shredder. I really do like the thought of having a gate. It is true. Wonder if it's too late though. 
Okay. This is tricky. Mm. Go for greed, I guess. I, I cannot block here because if I block, they play a removal spell and I'm screwed, so I can do that. Yeah. God, like, this is so tricky, guys. This is so tricky. Land or land? I don't know, guys. Just gotta hope that I don't have it, I guess, at this point. Alright, we're just gonna slam it, I guess, and... Hope for the best. Do we have frenzies? We do. I don't know if I kept them in, though. I don't think I did. But we have a 4-6 blocker now. Kinda. They grabbed my own Eurobrask. Okay, this is a nightmare scenario. <laughs> Yay. Okay, they're throwing away Eclazods, though. Hmm. Can't believe they didn't just bounce Ledger Shredder, but I guess I should be grateful. Okay. We just need one turn to have Eurobrask pop off and we're good to go. That's all we need, just a turn. I'm kind of in a weird spot where the opponent could also just go crazy by like just going attacking me with like reefs and combat stuff. I gotta be careful. All right, give me a turn, man. Like, what is this? All right, guess I'm playing the gate. What a weird kind of showing here. That was strange. Holy shit, Hearth Elemental. Okay, let's do this. The whitelisted. All right, cast spell number one. Fuck. Wait, that's not good enough, right? We need three. Shit, okay. Damn. Well, I guess we could still do it. We could get the Ledger Shredder to give us another one. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately not. Hmm. Uh, didn't hit that. Didn't hit the lottery on that one. Unfortunately. Hope it's not deadly cover up. Nah, me too, bestie. <laughs> but like the thing is, I think we just commit to the board here. Like I don't think we win if we don't. So they also have like an Eclazots. Like it's not as if I can hold back because Eclazots will come swinging at us every fucking turn. So. Yeah, I'm just choosing to discard this here because. <sighs> man, man, man. Eclazots, stop being a hater. I mean, they still have Restless Reef, too. Because that would go to 10. You stupid fucking dinosaur! Get the fuck out of Do I just, like... Go for it? Like, I could remove the bat swing with the Reef, maybe? Like, at this point, Desperate Times? Yeah, or destroy the Celestis, but... I don't hate the idea of just, like, hitting, swinging with everything. Yellow. <laughs> You're right. Swing in. All right. You got to go for it, man. 
you want to like remove my spire, I'm at peace with that, I guess. Thanks for thinning out my deck. I don't know. Well, <laughs> that's at least a better life total to be looking at, you guys. It's at least a better life total to be looking at. Whatever will we do about our precious red like spire? No, it's true. Lord, don't attack me. All right. Passes the turn, so at least we're not board wives, Hulk. Full black, huge, important moment. Oh shit. Mm. This is a 4-4, four, four. okay. Come on, let's get this chain going. Fuck. Opponent, you're such a dick. <laughs> you're such a dick. I mean, it's the fact that your Eclazos has gained him so much life, too, that didn't really help, did it? Fun Destroyer, nah, that's true. I don't know, like, we kind of have to hold back with something because they could hit me with the Restless Reef as well. So, I don't know, man. I mean, I could have helped that with your Rask, but... Eh. Bad Gods. I mean, Bad God with the life gain is just bullshit, too, you know, so... Some anti-life gain. Yeah, reprint, uh, what's the enchantment called? The one that you can pay one life for and pings for one. Anyway. Or pay one red for. Deadly cover up. GG's. Yeah, Roiling Vortex. Bring that back, please. Roiling Vortex in, uh, big score when? <laughs> when? When? When are we gonna give the people what they want? Like, is that not committing a crime? Would it not be perfect? I don't know. Huge missed opportunity, wizards. Big Jin, but Jin just gets pressured by Reef. But I mean, maybe they don't see it. We could try. We could try. They might not be aware they have a Reef. Play your outs, I guess. Um. Okay. All right. Never mind. They saw it. Uh, I mean, I could give myself a top deck, I guess, but... What do I need to even hit? Hearth Elemental... Not this. Like, Hearth Elemental, like, hit your Rask or something. But I also have, like, not that many cards left. Play your outs, I guess. Ah, ha, ha. Shout out to the opponent for making this game go to, like, 20,000 minutes. Pog. All right. I mean, that just wasn't it, you guys. Felt like a very bad matchup. <laughs> very bad matchup. Okay.